This is my humble abode in a very peaceful part of Guyana, South America, where I see my patients as well as enjoy the nature. Here, I have my pet dog, Puppy, and my tortoise, Mansi Bay. Apart from them, I have 16 female fowls and 7 male fowls, but without much eggs. So today's mission, less cock fowls, more eggs. Yes. Today's mission, Operation Two Foul Cocks. Nazir will catch them and kill them and I will cook. If you kill two big foul cocks, the things you get from them include liver, heart, kidneys, gizzard and other parts. Instead of throwing them, we can make a dish called Katakat. Apart from these meaty organs, you will need cilantro, haradhaniya and in Guyana, there are long dentated leaves and we call them bandhaniya. Although their shape is different, but they taste and smell exactly the same. The, then these tomatoes, they grow in our garden, all of them, right? The pepper look small, but believe me, they are very hard. You can't put even one pepper on your tongue. It will burn you from top to bottom. That's why we will put two or three of them only. Because we are putting other kinds of pepper too like black pepper and then the cardamom powder we will put and then red chili powder we have uh, turmeric powder cumin powder and of course salt and lime juice it is my secret ingredient i use it in almost everything i cook lime juice tastes so good so we are going to make karakat today i request you to please Click on the bell icon and also the subscribe button to watch our channel and our programs regularly and promptly. Now you cut the foul parts into small portions, small pieces and put them aside. You're preparing to start cooking, right? Next, you also chop tomatoes and bandania cilantro, right? And put it aside. You chop them because you don't want to work hard. When you chop tomatoes and these things small, they cook very easily. Now we will put a little a bit of oil, a quarter of a cup, uh, you know, and, and not a lot, right? Uh, into the karhai, or kahari, whatever you call it, and heat it. Then we will put the ingredients one by one, uh, stirring uh, constantly. <laughs> Stirring the contents constantly um, and we'll put one by one, right? Red chili powder, black pepper, a little bit of carbon cardamom powder. Cardamom gives a little flavor to the food. Zira powder. turmeric powder during this covid time people say turmeric is good so use as much as you can of course not a lot uh, to disturb your uh, tummy uh, keep uh, stirring right katakat is usually uh, made uh, on uh, uh, iron girdle right but we are not making it commercially so we are trying to get you know a little flavor little taste uh, that's what we want to do now i'm putting tomato bandania and small uh, peppers and keep on stirring and we are not putting any water okay we're not putting water a little bit um, i will uh, about half a tablespoon full of ginger garlic paste i will put into this mixture actually a quarter of a tablespoon and uh, I, I i don't want the whole dish to smell like garlic and ginger put a quarter of a spoon now uh, this is salt uh, it's important also not a lot little bit uh, and we continue to stir our food what is being prepared now is custom made. Uh, custom made means we uh, chose our spices and we put it ourselves, not uh, some ready made spices. In a bit, I'll show you what is the view inside this pot. Oh my God. It, 
is, is start drying now and when it will dry uh, more it will look like the katakat from Buns Road, Tariq's, Tariq's katakat uh, which we recently had with my friend Rauf Tabani a few days ago. It would be like remarkable. Oh my God. Listen to the sound of this boiling mixture. Ahaha. Katakat is ready.